going around defensively when you guys looked at, at that game? What, uh, you know, what, what kind of went wrong from a defensive perspective? Uh, little things, little things we did not do as a defense. Uh, we didn't create turnovers. Um, we, went, we didn't tackle as well as we should have. And uh, that, it just comes down to the details of the game. You know, you guys are obviously put in some bad situations in that game, but, but you guys have kind of thrived in those situations before. What, uh, yeah. you know, those quick touchdowns off after the turnovers, how frustrating was that to, to not be able to kind of hold up in those spots? Oh, it's frustrating, no doubt, because we, we as a defense, we know like we're a good defense. But we want to we want to make that leap of faith to the fact of the fact to be a great defense. So when we get put in those situations, we have to capitalize and and uh, let our offense know that we have their back no matter what. You guys were last year, you know, top ten in, in sacks and tackles for loss, and you brought everybody back. And I think everybody thought those numbers would get even better this year. And so far, you guys don't have quite as many uh, sacks, tackles for loss, maybe as last year. What, what do you think's been the the difference? How do you think the D line overall has, has played so far? Oh. Uh, I feel like as a D-line, we've, we've played okay. Um, we still haven't reached our full potential, but that comes in week in, week out with uh, our opponents. Our, with our opponents, they're going to give us everything they got. Uh, they're going to leave six people in the blockers, seven people sometimes, and we're just going to have a, a tough game. That's how it is. What, are you surprised at all? I mean, do you think the group may be a little more dominant, maybe a little better up front than you have been so far? Or? Well, I mean, we, we've, we've done well for ourselves. Uh, we, we're still moving forward. Still working on little things to 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 hone in on and and get the right craft done so we can be a, do, a dominant defensive line. In a game like that, I mean, you guys, I know that so much of the season you guys have stopped the run and forced teams to pass, and it seems like when you can dictate or force teams to do that, you can obviously uh, you know maybe force turnovers through, through interceptions and whatnot. But when you get down like that, how hard is it to create turnovers and get back into a game? Well, it's, it's, we try to keep the mindset of, keep the mindset of uh, one play at a time. Uh, I try to keep the scoreboard out of, out of my vision. Uh, but when, when we're down like that and, and uh, our defense isn't making the plays we need to, I mean, it's, that's, that's when it comes a, a team effort as a, as a, as a yeah, like it's, it becomes a team effort. Yeah, I guess maybe it, it, uh, the, the other team will probably limit the opportunities because they're, they're just kind of, you know, 45 to 10, kind of, kind of running the ball, and uh, I don't know. It seems like there might be less, less opportunities because of what they do against you guys. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, as as a front seven, like we have to strip the ball out. Like we have to create fumbles. Um, we we don't we don't have to get uh, turnovers from interceptions from DT or or Moxie or Dante. I mean, it's just like. As a defense, we have to do do a better job of punching the ball out, stripping the ball out, and getting on it. Uh, I just, you know, kind of. I mean, you guys haven't forced a ton of fumbles this year, and I don't, I don't know if you could really uh, see what Utah State was doing, but but how active were those guys, and in, in terms of you know getting on guys' arms or, or punching the ball or, or whatever? Yeah, Utah State defense. Utah State's defense flew around like really well. They they communicated well with each other. They they ran through the ball together. Uh and uh, I feel like all of their, their punches was like was legit. I mean that's you you, you can coach it. I, mean, I guess they, they did a good job coaching those kids on it. Uh, I think the first touchdown they scored they converted a third and twelve or something at some point. I know at times the, the long third downs that you know the BYU game hurt you a couple of times. Uh, but those key third down stops, I know overall the numbers are good, but in key spots where you need a long one, it seems like teams are getting you guys. Are you getting the pressure on the quarterback you need? Or what, what's been maybe the, the difference? Or why are you guys maybe giving up some of these big third Well, there's always something else we can do to, to help our defensive backs. Uh, as a D-lineman, we, we need to get more, better pressure on a quarterback. Um, but in those third and long situations, we, we want to go back there and get them. But when they do make plays, we just have to swell up and continue to play the game. Answer about that uh, that play that Kamale had, where um, he caught that running back like 60 yards downfield, mm -hmm. and on the very next play, he made a tackle for loss. Just just his effort there seemed, mm -hmm. seemed pretty elite. Yeah, his effort, yeah, his effort on on on, a, on that long run was was tremendous, and I mean that, <coughs> that like that play, and then he making a TFO just brought energy to the to the defense. So we so I guess right there, like we just like gave an extra effort to. To try to get off the field.
Thanks. Uh,